Hi folks, welcome to another Fusion Friday. We had a viewer send in this product or gear contraption and say, can you model this in Fusion 360? And I thought, ooh, this should be fun. So let's start out. First thing, always SNS, Saturday Night Special, save your project. We'll say Fusion Friday gear. SNS N is for new component and name that thing, we'll name it bracket and select that component. Ooh, interesting. It activated that component. This is my first morning on the new big Fusion update. Okay, so let's start with this bracket here, this square piece. I'm gonna hit R for rectangle, sketch on this plane. And we'll sketch a rectangle, hit D for dimension. We're just gonna call it two, five, one. I'm not going to worry too much today about the dimensions, uh, and more so just the modeling techniques. Q, well, actually, actually, let's add this slot in here quickly as well. R for rectangle, and D for dimension. We'll make this, say, one inch. Click here, click there, and I'll say, watch this, parentheses, this minus that. See how these are formulas? And parentheses divided by two. That will center it parametrically. And uh, what do we want that width to be here? Wow, some new things in Fusion. It's exciting. Um, point three is fine. What else? Uh, we can do those four holes now too. C, point two. I'll hit C again. I'm gonna actually intentionally make them out of line. It's a technique I like because then I'll come over here and I'll hit the E and it'll stay live so watch I click the first one here equal to that equal to that equal to that now they're all equal size and I'll do horizontal vertical that establish the horizontal this will make that well okay now we can dimension them later there and there and then I'll hit D for dimension actually escape once will let me drag it over that way it's easier to dimension this way. Say 0.25 and 0.5. Q for press pull. And now I can select this. We'll say 0.25. We've got sort of our bracket close enough. Modify fillet. Click this edge and that edge. And you can actually sometimes push it in just to see what it'll look like, good enough. Perfect, you know, it looks a little thinner, so you can right click on the extrude and edit that back to say 0.15. Now let's uh, make this knob underneath the part first. Right click, new component, uh, knob. And you know what, there would be of course a shaft Protruding through here, so let's actually go back, activate this, C for circle, click on this plane, and we'll say 0.275. Make sure that this is in the mid plane, so I'm actually going to go sketch point and hover down. See how it snaps to that triangle? Awesome. Now I can use a horizontal or vertical and it'll snap to the midpoint. Which, oh, that reminded me these points aren't uh, dimensioned over here. So let's go ahead and fix that. Q, I'll extrude this first. Q for press pull. Click on that and drag it just all the way through. So these holes are not correct. Uh, so I'll, here, if you click on the hole, see how you get a little um, three lines over that? That was the extrude. I want to edit the sketch. So right click, edit sketch. And that's why those things were blue, I think. So we'll say that's 0.1875. I'm just making this dimension up here. And I'll do the same here, but I want it to be the same dimension. So I'll just click here and see again, it links it to D15. Now they're black, which means they're fully dimensioned, which is what we want. Awesome. Go back to our knob. So you see how I activate it. Hit C for circle. And I'm gonna select the underside of this. And we'll just sketch, say 0.875. Q for press pull, drag it uh, 
good enough, click OK. Oops, so I went the wrong way. So edit this. There we go. If I go back up to my top, activate component, I can see that's what I've got. Now, let's go ahead and create the joint for these because if you look now, I can move that around. We sketched it in place so we can do an assemble as built joint. And I'm going to change, I always like to change the type first before you start selecting stuff. This will be Revolute. And I'm going to, you want to pick the, I'll just show you. You want to pick the coin. That's, so let's see what it wants us to do here. Select two components. So select this component. Oh, sorry. Again, Fusion seems to have changed uh, with the update this morning. So now pick my two components. And I want the coin to be on the face that these two have. So actually, if I hover here, see how I got the, the coins in the middle? Hold down the Control key. That'll let me move in there and select it. And you can see it is rotated. It's hard to see because the part looks the same. But click OK. And that did it. That did what we want. Uh, we can still move the whole thing around. Let's ground the bracket. That will help fix that. Ground. Uh, we don't need to capture the position. Just click continue. So now this is locked in place. And although it's hard to see, uh, you can rotate that. How are we doing here? We'll come back later and add the checkering. That actually should be pretty fun. It looks like, I don't really know how this thing is made, um, but it looks like there's a stud that goes all the way through to the bottom one. So let's assume that that's the case. So I'm going to, um, you could create it as a separate component, it depends on how the parts are made in the real world. Uh, I'm going to just assume it's the same, it's one piece. So I'm going to edit the knob, I'm going to hit C for circle, continue, sketch on this plane, and let's just, again, take some, make some assumptions about what it is here. Go all the way up through, click OK, and so now we've got that shaft coming up through here, and the top of it's threaded, so let's go ahead and thread it. Create threads. Now normally I will admit I don't actually like modeling cosmetic threads but uh, just to show you how we'll select this face check modeled not the full length I'm going to have it be quarter 20 and we'll just thread the last say 0.3 inches of it and click OK. Now actually you should be able to see more easily we rotated it that it's, it is a rotational joint awesome what's next this top piece here so new component I'll say top gear actually I just realized that's the name of a TV show that was not the point uh, make sure it's activated hit C and we will sketch it on top of this plane right here C for circle it's the same snaps to that diameter Q for press pull drag up and yeah, no good, good enough, click OK. Um, we'll come back to the um, gears. That's the fun part, I think. Let's put those four holes in. So I'll hit C for circle, click this top plane. And so I want it to think about this. Put it right here, point of nine, say they are. And I want them to be vertical. So let's. Sometimes I really like to create things off the um, where I want them and snap them to with these constraints. So horizontal, vertical. Move this one in line with that. Did not work. Oh, there it worked. Okay. And I will do sketch circular pattern. I'm going to sketch that around that. And we'll say four times equally. Click OK. Now I can hit Q for press pull and select these guys. And let's see if we can do, um, if we could do it instead of a, a dimension, let's change it to a two. And kind of click that face. So sometimes it's hard to click faces. Don't be scared, folks, to turn off other stuff. Much easier sometimes. So two, kind of click match shape here. Hmm, I have struggled with this before, I'll be honest. Extends to, okay, I had to re-choose it, and that worked. Now I can turn my other stuff back on, and remember, though, 
we still let's see here, we still have to create the constraint. So I'll go back to the um, joint. So click activate component because we can pull this thing away. Assemble as built joint, revolute, awesome components. Pick this one, pick that one. What's the joint? It's um, pretty, s nope, not pretty smart. It's got, that's the wrong joint that I'm looking at. So I want it to be a, the joint again right here because I basically want this made into that. So if I click on, if I, sorry, excuse me, hold my mouse over this, I can see that joint. I'm holding on control so it doesn't disappear because if I don't hold down control, as soon as I move in, it selects something different. So hold control, click there. It's, I'm revoluting and they should be independent. Boom, boom, that's grounded. Awesome. So I'm gonna call that a wrap on this Fusion Friday video, but click here for part two today where we're gonna get into making these teeth and putting the checkery on the outside of that gear wheel.